Now, let's focus on part two, planning. First, you must study the graph. It involves finding key features like comparison, main changes, and unusual trends. Let's break them down. In this graph, there are three trends, and it's obvious to find the highest and the lowest one. So it is good to mention these features in writing. The second features are main changes. These are peak point, overall trend. It's the difference between beginning and ending period. So in this example, all other countries in North America had fluctuation, which is going up and down over the period. And Europe had a fall. And the last key feature can be unusual trends, like sudden fall in Europe around 1996. Once you have identified key features, you should know how to organize it. So to do that, you must make clear layout by leaving some space between paragraphs. Then paragraphs itself must have its own purpose, like introduction, overview, and body one or body two, depending on how would you like to present the data. You have already watched how to write introduction. So the next part of the video teaches you how to write overview and the rest of the body part, which is some details.